friends, it's 444. Let's go angels. Welcome back, I'm Cassie. If you're new, I'm Cassie. <laughs> it's great to meet you. I live in New York City. I'm pursuing an acting career and just general life fulfillment. I'm trying to figure out how life works in the early 20s realm. Actually, I guess I'm in my mid 20s. Cause I'm 24. A little week in my life vlog we're doing here. Today I've just kind of been getting stuff done. I did a little cleaning last night. Did my laundry today. I washed my sheets. Always feels good. I try and do it at the beginning of each month. And I'm getting a little bit of a late start for February since it's the 7th. We're all just trying our best. As I said, it's pretty late in the day. I literally just applied for like 30 jobs because I'm moving in April and I need to like be making money and proving that I have a job and can pay rent. I'm very excited about it but it also is stressful to apply for jobs. So I just applied for a bunch on Indeed. I'm hoping to start working at the end of the month. Right now I'm doing rehearsals and stuff for a little sketch comedy show that I'm in, which uh, you'll hear all about in my career update series that I've been working on. I'm about to go get dinner with my friend Julie, who I haven't seen in so long, but I think we're gonna go get Thai food. Good morning party people, before I even begin talking about myself. Go immediately. Keep watching the video. In a new tab on your computer, or I guess if you're on a phone, you need to wait. Go to Netflix and open the movie Stuts so that you can watch it as soon as this vlog is over or later tonight when you have time. I don't know what's happening for you right now. I watched it last night. It was literally life-changing. It's uh, Jonah Hill talking to his therapist. It's a documentary and his therapist talks about all of the mental tools that he uses to help his patients. I highly recommend it for anyone who struggles with anxiety or depression or existentialism. Honestly, any human should watch it. It's really, really good. I was frantically taking notes. That rocked my world last night. And then I went back and watched some really old vlogs. Part of the movie was them talking about your shadow. And this is a very common idea in both mental health, but also like spirituality in visualization and manifestation. The way he described it is it's the part of yourself that you want to hide most from the world, that you're most ashamed ashamed of. For me, that self is like my eighth grade self. Compared myself to my friends a lot, hadn't figured out how to wear my hair yet. I was awkward, I was loud, and these things aren't bad, but for some reason, like I have a really hard time going back and watching my vlogs from this time of my life. I went back and watched some of the videos from when I was in eighth and ninth grade. Just like loved on myself a little, and it was a little cringy at times, but I just kind of like sat and listened to myself and honored my experience that I was having and thought about all the life things that were going on and all the things that were important to me and that I cared about and that were relevant as I was growing at the time. And it was really powerful. I'm 24, I'm turning 25 in August, so 10 years ago is a long time and I feel like every year I, I become a really different version of myself, but especially, like, obviously these are your foundational years. This is where you are growing into a uh, somewhat adult human. So anyways, that was a lot of ramble, but it was very powerful for me and I highly recommend this movie to anyone who struggles with mental health or just anyone in general who wants to improve their life experience. Okay. Now it's the morning time and I'm drinking my coffee, about to go to rehearsal. I have kind of a lot of stuff to get done today. I applied to a shit ton of jobs yesterday. Tomorrow I have a job interview, so that's exciting. Wait, no. It's the day after tomorrow. I literally don't know what day it is. It's Wednesday today. Got lots of memorizing to do. I'm talking to my parents later today, which I'm excited for. I haven't talked to them in a little while. They were in Hawaii, so we had like a six hour time difference or something like that. That was my ramble. Go watch Stuts and then come back and let me know what you thought. I'm for Congratulations. for what we said in Valley Girl. Congratulations. <laughs> we did it. I, the coffee and the excitement. Oh my gosh. I am actually shaking. <laughs> Morgan and I just got tickets to the What We Said podcast live show in New York at the end of March. I have been following JC since like 2016. I've been listening to the podcast since when I really started it four years ago, five years ago. I think I might cry upon seeing them live, but I'm so excited. I had rehearsal. I have been so jittery from the coffee I drank. I literally feel awful. It was a mistake to have it. I should have stuck with my green tea. So I'm chugging water. And Henry and I are about to walk up to the New York Public Library for the performing arts because I need to find another scene for my acting class. So I'm just gonna go flip through all the plays that they have there.
Update, I am now randomly doing a job interview in four minutes. I'm listening to your thing. It says Cassie's pods, but it also says your pods. <sighs> well, I just had a job interview for a coffee shop nearby. It was very spontaneous. The guy was like, can you talk today? And I was like, sure. And he was like, how about in 10 minutes? And I was like, Henry, can I use your laptop? And I think it went well. I think he liked me. Yeah, let's all cross our fingers for me that I find a good fit. Hey everyone, finishing off the vlog with a crazy day of running around. Slept so badly last night and woke up at 6 a.m. and literally could not fall back to sleep. So I tossed and turned for an hour and then at seven, I just kind of like got up, cleaned my whole apartment as you saw, and it felt really good to just get things in tip top shiny shape. And then Henry and I, both of us had things that we needed to donate from cleaning out our closets. And I had a couple household things like a lamp. We donated stuff at both Central Park Consignment and Housing Works, which are both great thrift stores on the Upper West Side of Manhattan. Highly recommend. At Housing Works, I also bought this super freaking cute sweatshirt thing. It's got like a mock neck. I don't know what this is called. A cowl? Is that what it's called? That might be wrong. It's not a real hood. Wide sleeves. It doesn't have a brand. It was only $15, but it's literally the fuzziest, softest material on the outside and the inside is almost like fleece. It's so soft and lovely. And red, my favorite color. Excited for that. We walked further up the Upper West Side all the way to 105th and we went to a pizza place that my parents recommended called Mama's 2. It was really yummy. The basic house slice I think was both of our collective favorites just because it was standard and really good. But I really liked the Angry Nona which was soppressata, salami, and it had this hot honey drizzled on it that was and then we just walked down Riverside Park, back coming through the city. I think we walked over five miles. And then we went back and finished watching Stutz for the second time for me. And I was falling asleep. So I was like, I need to go back home and make dinner. That's what I'm about to do. Make sure you subscribe. The next vlog, I believe, is going to be my Valentine's vlog, which I'm so excited for. I have some exciting things planned for Valentine's Day. I love Valentine's Day. I know it's a commercial holiday. I just love love and i love an opportunity to celebrate love with the rest of the world very excited for that go do something that makes you happy today you deserve it and i'll see you in the next one okay bye